Welcome again, folks, to my Shell Buzzy Ask Shell Coffee Break. And today we're going to talk about uh, a number of items, three of which you're going to have on this particular coffee break. And if you've been following my coffee breaks, you're going to find that the information and the educational component of these segments are very, very helpful in and around your home uh, getting that job done or understanding the reasoning behind the uh, maintenance factor, the purchase factor, or even just the uh, getting the job done factor. And today, one of them is going to be talking about tankless hot water heaters. Now, I've called uh, a number of uh, uh, information calls up uh, about the terminology. And what I mean by calling them up, I question as to why they use reference to tankless hot water heaters. Well, tankless hot water heaters is the proper terminology, not tankless hot water tanks, because there really is no tank. Heaters is really what they do. So let's talk about those instant uh, uh, hot water heaters that you find out in the uh, maintenance out in the uh, furnace room or uh, possibly out in the garage all by their lonesome. Instant water is only found at the side of a sink in the kitchen, one of which will have a very small spout on it normally uh, with a little lever on it that you can fill a coffee or teacup and uh, put instant coffee or a tea bag into that's instant hot water. Tankless hot water heaters are really becoming popular because of the uh, uh, energy savings because you're not heating water and storing it in a tank. You're heating hot water on demand. Now, you just can't uh, phone up a uh, HVAC uh, contractor that's heating, ventilation, and air conditioning. You can't just phone up that contractor and say, I would like to have installed a tankless hot water heater. How much? Because they will not or they should not give you a price. And please, folks, don't take ballpark figures because ballparks can become football diamonds or football fields or racetracks, if you want to put it in that size perspective. So always deal with contractors that are going to come out, review the situation as to what are they are going to be faced with, and then from that point, you make your decision as to are you or are you not going to consider investing in a tankless hot water heater. Electric gas, propane, which is also gas or not. The most effective, the most efficient is natural gas. Next to that would be whatever you're paying for propane, again, a gas item. Electric instant hot water for under the sink is one thing, but uh, electric tankless hot water heaters are very expensive. And number one, you have to provide in most cases, a 60 amp service. And a 60 amp service, to give you an example, would be greater by possibly a third than what your electric range would be as far as requirements for power. So let's talk in generalities here about natural gas. Normally what people will do, they'll feel uh, as though they can just take the hot water heater tank away and put in the tankless hot water heater. That is not so. The reason it's not so, unless you're going to direct vent to the outside, meaning that you're not going to use a B vent chimney to the roof line, then you're going to have to provide some extra dollars for the installation. In some cases, the location of installation because you do require a direct vent unit for a high efficiency condensing uh, tankless hot water heater 
and normally that would be on an outside wall. So that's what you'll find out when the, the uh, technician, uh, the gas uh, or plumbing uh, contractor comes out to your home. So that's why you can't really get a price over the phone. They don't know what the circumstances are until they get there. So if you're going to convert, always invite and get a, uh, a good quality recommended referral type of contractor. And as you know, we do have those services here in greater Vancouver and certainly Vancouver Island and across the prairies in most major cities. And it's called Shell Buzzy's House Smart Home Services Referral. And you can find the information on our website, askshell.com. Now, tankless hot water heaters, if there's only two of you in the home, then really my suggestion would be to remain with whatever it is you have, be it the gas, uh, uh, heated hot water heater, or electric. Because the cost for you to uh, economize the amount of water that you would uh, consume or use in the form of savings of dollars not storing it in a tank is going to be a long-term payback. Even though some will say, oh, God, you're going to get it back uh, in a matter of months. That's not so. Large families demand on hot water, quantity, large, deep tubs, all that sort of thing. Number of washings for those people who don't use cold water wash. All of those are items that have to be taken into consideration because if you don't, then it's going to cost. And getting that uh, cost back is going to take long term. Okay? So really you want to look at the... Uh, uh, can you accommodate a tankless hot water heater in the area that your tank type is now? Is it going to be convenient where you end up putting it, even though it's going to take less room than the tank? Uh, are you going to have the economics that you're looking for? And do you really require the demand that uh, you may be uh, uh, considering uh, being of the nature of two people, three people, four people, five, or a large family, or possibly uh, even a suite uh, in your home? So all those things have to be taken into consideration because if you don't, there's going to be people out there in the business that are going to simply take your request and do it, and you pay the bills. So cost-wise, folks, be cautious. It's just that easy.